I, I've seen you live in, in ETP New York 2008. Mm. It was a very nice gig. Well, thank you. And one, one thing that uh, I really thought it was amazing was the poker sessions that you held there. It was really fun. I was there like watching. Yeah, that that's a, a, a nice little feature of that festival is they have a card room that was established when they built the place you know, 50 years ago. And they make it available to us and so we're, why not? Let's have a poker game. It'll be fun. Yeah, it's great. it was nice. To, it was fun to watch there. And uh, what is your connection with ATP? Like, are you some kind of a, of a counselor? Or? Not really, but we are friends with uh, Barry and Debbie. Um, the people who organize ATP, have, they've been friends of ours for a long time. Mm -hmm. And we have yeah. a long association with the festival. We played the second year, the second festival that they had. And then we did a, we were the curator for another festival, for another edition of the festival. Mm -hmm. And we have played basically every time they've asked. Um, ATP really is really remarkable. They, they changed the way festivals work worldwide. Mm -hmm. Before ATP, festivals were these were were really disgusting sort of profit-making things only, mm -hmm. and all the bands that were associated with that played the festivals did it as a kind of a kind of a weird profit thing. Like no one really thought the festivals had a personality; mm -hmm. it, they were just a, a a way to to make some easy money if you were on tour, or smaller bands that weren't very well known. Uh, use them as a way to sort of generate some interest in the band, and they would actually be required to pay to play at some of these festivals. And the the whole thing was very institutionalized and very unpleasant. And all, ATP really changed everything. Like the, the, having a, a band select all the bands so that there was a curator that was uh, endorsing all of the bands on the bill, for example, and uh, having the money be distributed more equitably between the bands. And having the bands and the patrons living together and mixing together in a very sort of social way, totally unique. Mm -hmm. And and that really changed the way festivals were run. Because ATP was successful doing that, all of the other festivals had to be better. They had to become, they had to provide a, a better range of artists. They had to treat the bands better. They had to be more egalitarian about the way the bands and the patrons were treated. Uh, it they they really forced everybody to compete with them, and I I have a lot of respect for them. Now, I noticed there in the ATP like the, the the vibe was very different from all the other festivals. Yeah, like, it's like a, it's like hanging out with your friends. Yes, it yeah. was, that, that was the, what I right, what I noticed in the festival there. Yeah, that's what's cool about ATP is that it's not like you're paying money to see some circus. Yeah, it's like you're hanging out with some friends on a vacation. You know. Yes. And they that atmosphere has, is the reason that ATP is successful.